Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to Locopia. Today we're gonna continue building this magnificent little place that I've been building in the previous episodes. As always, I will be playing for about an hour or so and I'm gonna cut down everything that is gonna be irrelevant and all the building process so you don't need to sit through like a whole bunch of boringness. Now, one thing um, you guys all pretty much pointed out in the previous episode is that I actually unlocked this thing that I've never built before called a water treatment plant. Uh, which basically should technically get rid of like all of this junk. I mean, I I am kind of I am kind of polluting all over the place. I mean, if we take a quick look at the pollution right here, uh, which is this one, this is not is not that great. So um, let's have a quick look at how this thing works. Don't want to pump raw sewage into bodies of water. You can build a water treatment plant to reduce the environmental impact of city. Purifies 85% of the uh, pollution. All right. So I'm thinking of just putting one down right around... Well, does it really matter? I mean, well, we can just put one down right around here. That's a nice little place for it. And um, they're actually not even that expensive. I mean, yeah, you know, it takes a little bit of upkeep, I suppose. And uh, we could technically put down another one over here as well. Do you think that would be good? Uh, well, we may as well. I mean, we have committed already. We have committed already. Hold on, let me actually move one of these guys over then. You. Get over there. Alright, all good. And then we make another one of those treatment plants over here. There we go. Just need to make sure they're all connected. It should be connected. There we go. And this thing is just barely not connected. Oh, come on. Fine. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Alright, so what exactly are we going to continue building right now? Now, there's a couple things we could do. This should be fixing most of the issues. But I think of, like, keeping it small for the time being and just sort of fixing the issues that we have. Alright, so I've been putting down a lot of parks pretty much everywhere. And as you can see, all of a sudden people are starting, well, you know, a bunch of people are moving out right now because they destroyed their houses. Uh, but we actually just now had a lot of new people moving into the, into the town, really. Uh, I've been putting down a lot of these, like, small ones as well, for example, like that. And all of a sudden everyone's happy. Alright, so we got water out of the way, we got electricity out of the way, we got the parks out of the way as well. I think it's time to be fixing most of these garbage problems that people are having. Now, we can both do that with either the, uh, the landfill sites or with these incineration plants. I'm gonna have a quick look at the budget as well. Alright, so I put down a bunch of these other, like, I uh, put down a bunch of these uh, landfill sites as well as the incineration plants. Uh, I know there's quite a couple of them right now, but it seems to have fixed most of the issues. At least people aren't complaining anymore. Looks like everything is actually doing quite alright now, right now. Now, there's one thing that we also need to actually do, and that is construct another one of those roads that is now, like, looping around this entire area. Uh, from the other side, so we need one that actually allows people to drive, you know, towards the ending a little bit, like to the Lacopian Hills right here, as well as the square. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit more tricky, because there's very little room for it, and it's going to be all about, like, actually deciding where we start it all up. Well, it looks like this is going to be the best we are going to get right now. It's a little bit of a mess right here. I mean, you know, it's, it's not the prettiest of things. And that was kind of the goal, actually, to make everything look pretty. But at the very least, it will fix most of the connection problems. I thought. At least I hoped. Um, yeah, we may have to change something up here in a little bit. Um, but at the very least, like, it's gonna loop all the way around right here to watch the very end of this. And there's actually two exits right here. Which means that we can, like, sort of expand on both of these things later on uh, when we want to. But I think... As of right now, we're just gonna start building this entire area, and it looks like there's a high demand right now for residential zones. So I'm thinking of making like a bit of a zone over here, and a bit of a zone over there as well. Alright, that is part one done right here. Made a nice little loop around here, basically just, um, you know, filling up this entire area, this entire neighborhood. And um, we're gonna make some more higher residential zones over here, as well as some, um, some, some, um, what are they called? These right here, the commercial zones. Because there's also a pretty high demand for that, but we're gonna prioritize residential right now because we actually want some more people moving into the city. Uh, wanna try and maybe get to like uh, fifty thousand, maybe a hundred thousand in the end. Um, so this seems to be uh, this seems to be the best way to approach that. Um, and obviously, gotta make sure to have water. <laughs> and I made some extra paths here as well, so people can start walking over it. Going for a little bit of a different approach here with just a bunch of straight lines. It will likely work out quite well. Uh, looks like a couple more people are complaining about water. Oh god. 
That would suck. Moving into your new house and finding out you don't have any water and there's like no actual way of getting it there. <laughs> Alright, so as far as the road goes, I have actually tried fixing it, but it looks like this little like exit is really a massive issue. Either we just add like a second one, which could be possible, but we're gonna have to figure out something to figure out this. I mean, come on. Mr. Donut car can't even go anywhere. That should technically work right there, shouldn't it? Well, people are gonna start driving there a little bit. Oh, oh, is it working? Well, somewhat. Somewhat. We can make another one this way. I mean, that would not hurt anyone. There we go, so you guys can, like, take the other exit as well. Why would you even take this exit right now? I mean, it's technically speaking not gonna be anywhere faster. Alright, alright, this seems to- this seems to be a reasonable-ish little bit. <laughs> So instead of working at the issues at hand, I figured why not make an actual dam. Last time I tried making a dam and it didn't really work and I didn't realize it cost me about 100,000 um, to actually make one. And I'm thinking of positioning one a little bit differently here, of making it right around there or so. That should... I think that should give me plenty of like... plenty of like electricity. I think. I hope. So I've never actually made one successfully before, so we're gonna try and figure out how to do this. Um, so we have one right here, and I think I want it pretty high up. Does that work? Oh, that does work. Should we make it a little bit further out? Maybe right around here. Would that work? I think this will do. This should do. There we go. Oh, this is gonna give a massive amount of electricity, I think. Let's have a quick look at it. I hope, at least. Will this actually start like piling up over there, or how does this? How do how do we see what's what's going on? Oh, well, did we get a bunch of um? We did get a little bit of electricity. Oh oh, things are starting to fill up here. That is awesome. There we go. All right, is this even connected with anything? Yeah, it looks like it is connected just fine. That means we can actually lower the, uh, the budget right here for electricity, because there's plenty of it right now. Don't think people are starting to complain. Well, okay, that's a little, <laughs> a little bit too far. I think this area right here is sort of like hopelessly lost. Um, what would we do about that? I mean... <laughs> it's a little bit cleaner over here at the very least, but it's not as clean as I'd like it to be. Alright, we'll just clean it bit by bit like this. So, technically speaking, like most of the, like, Pollution should be over there and not so close to the people that I'm trying to actually like have live here. Oh, what is this? Oh, no There's a flooding Oh, no, what did I do? What did I do? <gasps> um. So the question is How do I fix this? Oh My god well, we're gonna first, like, have a look at the scenery right here. <laughs> Turns out people don't really like my dam as much as I did. Oh my god, that's not good. Well, I tried making it as high up as possible, but I think that's a rookie mistake. Can I actually move this thing? Is that possible, or do I have to, like, remove it? Let's have a quick look. Well, snap. Yeah, I don't- I think I'm gonna have to remove it. That's not good. I don't get any refunds anymore. <laughs> That's like a hundred thousand right there. That is just straight up- okay. Oh wow, we got a waterfall now though. So there's that. Fine. I'm not gonna try the dam again. I wasted like a good 200,000 on that thing. Hey, at least all the floodings are gone again. It was a pretty sight though to see the flooding, but I don't think people enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah, there's still water in the streets. <laughs> Somehow it's away, people are not moving out or anything like that, so I, I guess it's fine. So there are a bunch more pieces of land that we can actually purchase if we'd like to. Um, I'm sort of thinking, how many, I don't even know how many I can buy, but I'm thinking of just like... Expanding towards this region right here. There's not a like little bit over there. That looks amazing So I'm thinking of buying like those three so we'll, we'll purchase this one 
There we go. Oh, we can already purchase that as well. 14,000. That's fine. And it looks like we cannot actually get anything else. Which is a little bit unfortunate because, well, now there's like a random ass, like, crooked little bit right there in my land. But it's fine. Uh, I don't think we're gonna really start building here for the time being. But this is... Here we can make like a beautiful neighborhood though. Look at that. Oh my god. This waterfall. I've not even seen that yet. Go away, bird. That waterfall is amazing looking. Look at that. I don't even know where that water is coming from, but... Alright. That is awesome. There's so many new things we can actually do with this as well. Um, There's also like sort of like a, a, a light, nice little like... Move down over here. Hmm, cool. Alright, let's first build over here though. We are now a colossal city! Awesome! That means that we can actually purchase like the last piece of land we were talking about as well. But first I'm gonna finish up this little neighborhood. Alright, there we go! Got a nice little second neighborhood. Gotta make sure to have water. Uh, which is currently not the case. And I think we're gonna be zoning in some residential zones as well as some commercial zones. Uh, actually, maybe we should add some extra office space. That should help out as well. Yeah, let's add a bunch of offices over here. And then some commercial zones as well. It's probably gonna be our best bet. There we go. Whole bunch of offices. Oh man, if people can work here. It's gonna be amazing. Alright, there we go. Some commercial zones. And then the rest is gonna be residential. That should be good. There's some cool places to live though, I think. I would I would like to live here. I mean That's sort of the goal. I'm not gonna build too close to the farm, because I don't think people would enjoy that too much. Um, but there we go, that's good. Nice. So we got a, a whole new extra neighborhood right here that will allow our city to keep growing. Alright, nice. So we're definitely making some good progress. Now the last thing that we need to do is just zone in some more of these districts right here so we can actually, you know, apply all these rules that we set. Uh, but other than that, I think it's all nice. It's looking very, very cool so far. Alright, let's buy this last piece of land that we wanted as well. 14,000. Kind of expensive, but nothing too bad. Um, but... Well, there's a lot of things we can do with this. So, if you have a great idea of what I should do down in this area, and maybe you're, like, envisioning something amazing, let me know in the comment section right below the video, because I would love to hear your feedback. I mean, there, there are some amazing things we can do with this area. For example, we could, like, build different layers of houses. So, maybe start off with, like, small houses over here, and then once you go one layer up, it's, like, a little bit of, like, commercial zone, and then all the way up here is, like, massive flats. Something like that, or we can make a ton of monuments here. I mean, there's something you can do with this with this waterfall as well. So if you have any great suggestions, let me know right below the like button. Other than that, I think this is gonna be it for this video. We made a bunch of good progress right here. Kinda looks like a monkey. Is that just me? I mean, we see like, is there a nose on like monkeys and stuff? And it's like weird ears? Anyways. Um, looking great, looking great. We made a good amount of progress. Wasted a ton of money on the dam, but I think it's pretty like this anyway. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, also, this road, I'm not completely sure about, but it's it's working. It's working. As far as the pollution goes, not great. We may have to add a couple more of these things, but it's not as bad as it was, and it seems to be moving, like, in this direction anyway. So, like, in a couple years' time, it will probably be all gone. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.